Hey everybody, what is going on? So uh, in this video, we are going to walk through the process of creating professional studio quality sound. Uh, just hang in there with me because when you see the end result, it's going to be like, hey, that's cool. So let's jump in and check this out. So this gentleman here, this is a video that uh, Dana shared with me today. It's three years old, so we'll definitely see some updates as we're going through this, this video. Um, but he walked through some steps that were just, just took uh, the audio that comes out of my mic and that's not bad, but takes it up to another whole nother level. And you'll see here what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and we're going to open up Audacity. And then we're going to pull in uh, some audio from a video that I've got. Looks like it's a longer one. Okay, so we've got the audio for one of the videos that I created. It's been imported into Audacity. Now what we want to do is we want to get this down to just one audio track. We've got two right now, as you can see. So we're going to go up here to these three dots. Click on those three dots. We're going to go all the way down here to split stereo to mono. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just click on the bottom one just to get rid of it. Now it's gone. Now before we do anything, let's just do a quick... Um, before okay and i've got a before uh queued up here on the right as well but we can literally just click on it here too hey everybody what's going on i just grab my okay so not terrible um again but it's going to sound a lot better all right so here's what we want to do first hold down your control key on your uh keyboard and then mouse up and what we're going to do is we're going to take this soundtrack and we're going to stretch it because we want to find some nice uh long pauses uh, that we can go and use so hold the control button down mouse up and i'm just going to keep mousing up mousing up mousing up mousing up and then let's go all the way down and just see don't know if we've got a whole lot of pauses in there that are long but we'll just grab this one here Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to effect. We're going to go do noise removal and repair. And then we're going to go to noise reduction. We're going to click right here on this get noise profile. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to highlight the whole track. Just click over here right underneath the L. Just click on it and it'll highlight the whole track. Okay. Now we're going to go up to effect and we're going to click on repeat noise reduction. Okay, probably aren't going to hear too much of a difference, but we'll we'll test it and see. So let's do the original. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm just and then let's click on this one. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm just grab my coffee here. Actually, I think the original sounds better right now. But anyway, we're going to click on uh, our area again to get the whole track, and then we're going to go up here to our effect. We're going to go to EQ and filters. We're going to go to our filter curve. All right, we're going to go to presets and settings, factory presets, and then what we want is a bass boost. Okay, we're going to click on apply. All right, let's see how that sh sounds now. Grab my coffee here and then uh, copy it's the original. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I just grab my coffee. So it's a little bit deeper now, right? So now we'll do. Do the same thing. This time we're going to do a treble boost. Now you'll want to play around with this. I am kind of thinking that the treble boost for me is not needed. Um, play with it though and see. All right. Uh, and so you would go to our little area to highlight the whole track. And then we're going to go up to effect. And then we're going to go to our, again our EQ and filters. Same thing. Filter curve. Presets. Factory presets and then a treble boost and then apply okay let's just listen to it and see here hey everybody what's going on i just grabbed my coffee there's the original let's go ahead and click on this one now hey everybody what's going on i just grabbed my coffee here and then like i said i don't think i like the treble i'm going to do a control z 
Hey, everybody, what's going on? I just grabbed my coffee here and then, yeah, play with it. I took the treble off because I just didn't, I don't, I don't think the treble works with my voice. All right. Now that you've got that, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do factory presets and then we're going to do a low roll off for speech. Okay. So we're going to go up here, make sure our whole track is uh, selected, right? Go on up to effect, go on up to EQ and filters, go on up to our filter curve, presets, factory presets, and low roll off for speech. Just leave it just like that and do apply. All right, should we try before and after? Let's do before. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm just Okay, let's do the after. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I just grab my coffee here and then, uh, okay. So now what we're going to do is make sure that again that our track is completely you know selected and it is. We'll go up to effect. This time I'm going to go to legacy because I want to use the legacy compressor. All right, that's fine. We're just going to click on apply. Okay, and then one last thing that we're going to do, we're going to go back up and make sure everything's connect, uh, everything's selected and it is. We're going to go up to effect, legacy. And this time we're going to do legacy limiter. And what we want this to be is a hard limit. It's already there. If it's not, you want to make sure that hard limit selected and then click on apply. And that's it. You're done. Let's do before. Grab my coffee here and then uh, caught me off guard. Okay. And after production. Hey, everybody, what's going on? I just grabbed my coffee here and then uh, caught me off guard. I don't know about you. I think it's pretty rich. I think it's professional. Uh, takes out uh, a lot of any kind of sounds or hissings that you might have had. Uh, but now you're, you've got this professional sounding audio. Thanks for watching.